Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gary Grigsby's War in the West. Okay, so it's been a while since I've recorded this. And that has everything to do with the fact that uh, I had to um, endure something terrible. And that the fact that my um, <clears throat> my cat passed on last week and I'm sort of still in the process of coping with that. So uh, unfortunately, sad but true, this is what's going on and... Um, I, I'm well, not feeling particularly bad right now. I'm just not feeling very good either. So it's going to be a bit of that today. And uh, I hope you guys understand, but I suppose you do. Um, can we not take this place right now? Let's see. Who can we get in here that will surrender? These guys can still move. And then can we get help? Not really okay stack of 10 no you're not capable of doing anything anymore you guys may be capable of doing something but your combat effectiveness is pretty low what about these guys uh, the airborne troops might be able to pull it off but no no no, no. Don't want to set a new target. What the hell? Let's see if we can attack with these troops. Make a difference. Nope, that totally didn't do it. They held. They're holding at Fort Level 3. And that's the problem here. Fort Level 3 being the issue. We're disturbing this, uh, this line here. They're soon going to be out of everything. I suspect. And I think that's the last thing we had planned here. This was a, a complete no-go either. So that's okay. We are moving the, uh, the Canadian troops up, which is cool. I mean, I'm glad we are. Who are actually controlling these Canadian troops? The second Canadian Corps group. Okay. Maybe we should get them into a, into a um, boat, like right here in Southampton. Great. Good idea. Fly these guys. Um, get in the boat. Naval transport. We'll dump them down here. Go. Alright, they won't be able to get off now, I think. No. Alright, that's fine. We'll do it next turn. Alright, I'm gonna just turn over here because this is also not going so quickly. It's going very slowly, in fact. And see what the Germans do. So yeah, I've had a bit of a bit of a rough week, <laughs> but uh, looks like we are. Oh yeah, we're doing the supplies of the Germans right now. It's calculating all the supplies. I'm really hoping that I can secure the north of France. Without getting flanked, because that is still a possibility. Okay, air power is not doing so great. And here we go, yep, they're pushing. Pushing back in, that's what I do. However... It looks like Valonia may be actually the place where we can cut them off. That would be fantastic. Yep, I think we can cut a few troops off there. If he keeps them there, that is. But I think he might. We might be heading for Leuven soon. And Brussels, hopefully. Brussels is well defended, as you can see. Leuven, Brussels over here. That's going to be a thing. And here we go. Now that's the logistics phase. And we're going to have the air phase. Which I'm going to just leave to the AI right now. October two, uh, 1944 I think. Uh, for the purposes of this series. I'm going to continue up to the end of 1944. And then see where we are. Um, with regards to the amount of recordings I will be doing. That would be, but probably be best. Um... I don't have a lot of time right now, 
And uh, to be perfectly honest, my motivation was uh, <laughs> kicked in the nuts <laughs> just last Wednesday. <coughs> so um, there we are. Okay, let's look at the losses. Losses are mounting. We are losing more amount men than the access right now. I'm just gonna say execute the air directive. There we go. They're gonna fly and then bomb that. That's great. There we are. They're gonna bomb all the German supplies, which is cool. Yeah, the Germans definitely have formed a second line beyond Belgium. And that's going to be our main concern. Crushing all resistance in the hinterlands and then see what we can do. Alright, let's have a look and see what our options are now. We need weak spots in the line. That, that's the ideal situation. But this has been reinforced. Holy shit. Yeah, they, they figured they could do that, I guess. That's going to be a thing. Alright, well. No worries. I'm going to sort of do this next. They held again. Combat effectiveness is dropping though. Ooh! They actually surrendered? They routed! <gasps> they routed! We did it, men! Well done! Very well done, if I may say so. Alright, let's move these troops. We're gonna take care of the rest of these guys next. Make sure they are uh, isolated. That unit is also in a fine condition. We'll move the tanks up. Uh, to quad type. We no longer need that amount of tanks, I think. And I guess the next thing we'll be doing is um, capturing the most important port right here. And that's. Uh, I think. Th is that Calais? I'm not sure. Calais is here. This is something different. Anyway, we're gonna. Oh, hold on. It's in Bologna. Bologna. Interesting, interesting place that I'd love to visit sometime. All right, let's get these poles moving up to Samur on Ouchies. Where are you getting your supplies from? I wonder. Can I tell? I would like to tell. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, okay, well you're not doing so great. That's that's understandable. I'm gonna put you in Paris. Yep, it's gonna make supply lines slightly shorter. And uh, you are gonna get off the boat. Off ships. And then I'm gonna move you towards Alençon. There we go. That's that's gonna be fine. Canadian troops, yes. Uh, we only have Saint Nazaire to uh, take care of now, and it looks like Germany has chosen to reinforce that position. We may get the upper hand now, though. Yep, we did. We made them. Well, we made one. The garrison surrendered. And the 77th Infantry Division retreated. So St. Nazaire is ours. Good job. Let's go and chase them. Obviously we should. Alright, that's all they can do right now. I, I do get that. Hold on, what's... Shafe. Oh wow, we've got new troops here. Uh, yeah, let's get them in, uh, into Southampton, Shafe. And then uh, get them on boats. And move them to our ports there. Can we still do our thing? Off ships? No. 
That's okay. And this 12th US Army Group is also a headquarters unit that's there, apparently. Can we move you up? Are you directly connected to anyone? Um, you are. The unit's over there, apparently. Oh, those units. Okay, yeah. So you're doing, like, logistics. I like that. Alright, that's fine. Um, real group? Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's get these guys going. Portsmouth and whatnot. Southampton. No. Oh. Thanks, badly. Ship them. Ship them, boys. Ah! Oh! Insufficient capacity to load units. That unit is too large. Wow, is that. How is that too large? Amazing. Let's uh, still try it. And I guess we should go down here. Oh yeah, that seems to have insufficient court port capacity just to load the little lab. Okay, that's unfortunate. I had hoped that that would work out, but it will not. Lots of ships being unloaded, that's great. Alright, so let's see what we can do on our, on our main line here. We've got the western coast secured, that's great. Our main line is next. And... Hmm. Yeah, they've got this the Strait of Dover pretty much covered. That's the problem here. Let's see. Could take Ghent again. Ghent is under German uh, influence again, apparently. Which is okay. It doesn't mean we are in a bad spot with that. Um, I'm going to say that's actually uh, quite all right. These guys are going to hold the line here. That's okay. I think... What part of the line can we push through? This is their weak spot. Right here. If I move with a couple of tank units there... Armored units would do. Then we'd be able to um, take them down. And I'm absolutely convinced it's takedown time. These guys are pumped and ready to go. Yeah, that's probably the best we can do right there. Although, we could try and punch through this unit. And then cut them off through here. But that would make for a very long line. I don't, I don't like that. We'll ask the poles to come roll up and reinforce that line, I guess. Or somebody else. It doesn't really matter. A few French do their jobs. Attack halted, but we took down 42 of their aircraft. Still held. Come on! Well, shit. Maybe we do need some infantry support there. And let's roll into Ghent with some of these guys. I mean, I've got plenty of units that can. These two armored units, for instance. Oh, but these two armored units could help. This armored unit punch through that. <laughs> Scouted. Okay. Wow, we lost 55 tanks in that attack, and they only six. 
That is... Those are insane numbers, but they have weakened lines now. There we go. Awesome. We kicked them out. And they retreated. And they're done. Awesome. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's and uh, Kent there. Meldigum. Let's cut these guys off. And then uh, that should do it for the time being. Alright. Well. We're trying to deploy more offensive tactics now again it's not going fantastically well but what can I say we'll do a quick attack here just to be ready okay they actually dug in there that's the problem that ah, doesn't matter we'll, we'll hold on to our line position there um, well. Let's see, you could move into this town. And hold the Marne line there. Okay, we've got some troops at Neuf Chateau who are just sort of lingering there. They're not not doing a great job here at the um, edge of the world, if you will. Move you into this position, move you into this position, move you into this position and punch. Committed to the defense. Two units committed to the defense. They lost two guns. We lost one tank. Me. Another quick attack. And that lost us. No, we lost two guns and they lost one tank. That's it. I'm, I'm going to just stay right here with these guys. They're not going to do much more. And you are going to move to Juice. And just take that position and hold it. You're not gonna do anything. You're gonna just stick to that area right now. It's a bit of a weak spot, I, we, I fear. That whole southern flank. We've got troops coming though. It's 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 gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay eventually. Hmm. Okay, UK home forces. Mm hmm. Are both of these units too large? 316. What's the. What kind of port capacity do we require then? I mean, Southampton is probably one of the biggest ports we have. We need to go to. So I'll boat them over <laughs> if we can. Cherbourg, La Havre. No. Well. Oh wow. Hit. Okay. Everyone's there. And we lost some guys because they were hit by enemy torpedoes. But we're in La Havre and we're ready to disembark. So that's good. All right. For the final 12 minutes of this recording, let's have a look at our Italian situation because what a situation it is well they have one weak spot they want us to attack here you know they want us to attack here and that's the problem I have with this let's see uh, can we do an, a combined assault on this position it doesn't look like it We'll do a quick attack. If we can. Can we not? Oh, wow. Okay, these guys can't attack. Why the hell not? <laughs> this is silly. Um, oh, wait. That's because we're not in that mode. I'm an idiot. Um, let's see. That means we can probably do a combined attack. A fairly successful one at that. It, it was costly, but uh, we did manage to do something to their uh, ability to fight. Yeah, 
they still hold. They still hold. This is horrible. Okay. That is a given. We're not going to mess with that right now. I'm going to weaken them, but that's about it. They're holding the line. And they're doing a damn good job at it. Let's see if we can do... Can we make a difference here? I hope so. Oh, that's a, they're attacking across a river. That's the reason why this is not going so great. Yeah, the Indians can stay here. And we'll move you up here like this. Maybe have you reinforced by these guys. And then move you up here. That's our mobile units, so we might want to hold down, hold on on that until we um, actually successfully attack this position. Which, you know, could happen. Okay, the fort level just dropped to two. That means if we do another one of these, they're still at two fort level. Okay. They retreated. Now there's an opening. Good. Motorized units. Get in and drive into that gap. There we are. Do we have any tanks? We do. Exploit the gap. Instant. No more Mr. Nice wait for the enemy to come into position guy. Alright. These guys are not going to do anything here. This line is... This part of the line is safe. I think if we can, we should try and attack this as quickly as possible. And then we might actually have a breakthrough where we need it. Whew! It took a while, but we are punching through this line. Man. <laughs> the shit I had to put up with, really. <laughs> Alright, well. Supplies are, are okay-ish, I think. Yeah, we're, we're okay in supply-wise. Um, hmm. Is there any spot where there's only one unit? Here. We'd have to attack across a river, though, to get it. Like, one unit, to beat one unit with, like, three, generally works. And I'm gonna say generally works, because it's no guarantee. Um, but maybe we can put this these Polish to good use here. Well, and these airborne troops, why the hell not? No, they can, they're good defensive troops. Let's see, you, you, uh, you, you can actually go over here. This, and then say, um, something like, oh, this. Just cost us a lot of men. Shit, we yeah, should have had those tanks here, but we can't really move them into that hex. That's the problem. Fifteen. No. Well, actually, their defenses have dropped considerably. Okay. Can we do combined armed? We can. Ah, defender fort level reduced to two. It's a bit of a tough uh, situation. But no, nope. We're just losing tanks and men. More tanks and men have been lost. Okay, well, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. This though. What if we move? What if we cut through this? Can we? Oh, we might be able to do that. Defender, okay, defender fort level to one. That's all we're getting, okay. Defender fort level to reduce to zero. I 
held, but at a cost. Can we do it again? No. We can with these guys, but I don't know. Nope, nope, nope. They're all pretty much exhausted. Damn, that, that would have been an interesting situation if I'd made it. Alright, maybe we can do the same over here. We'll give it a go. Across the river. That was probably the issue here. <laughs> never acro across a river. Never, ever. Don't do it. it. You'll regret it. Sincerely. Okay, well. <sighs> fruitless attacks. Goodness me, we know about those. Yeah, this isn't going to do much against these guys anymore. We could try, but... This would be the best way to do it. Oh, we knocked out two tanks and lost ten. Those are relatively good odds, I guess. <laughs> All things considered. Um... Man, but nah, their defense is down so far. We could have done so much better. Eh. Throw in one more effort. They held, but they're they're losing slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Oh, I can move the tanks out. They're well supplied. Huh. Okay, they're well fueled, well supplied. Why would I move their tanks out? Them tanks. Okay, maybe these Indians. No, can't move them anymore. Okay, that's that's cool. Um, no, that's all right. You guys are resting, withdrawing, withdrawing. Okay, great, awesome. Um, all right, I think I am going to leave it here. Although maybe. Looking at a fort here. Can we attack this fort? Hmm. Not going to be a success. No. We're going to leave it here. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, slowly but surely we're getting the upper hand again in certain areas. But it's it's a bit of a... Like it's a grapple now. We've, we've grappled into each other. At the uh, Charleroi line here, so here at the um, at the French, sort of the Flemish um, Wallonian border, it's a, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a rough um, rough and tumble here, and um, and also in Italy we finally made a little bit of a dent where we didn't initially, so that's nice, you know. We may be we may be getting this, we're getting we're getting in, we're getting in slowly but surely. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and or comment. And please also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again. Cheers.